Hello guys, Manuel from Geekception here, and today I'm going to be putting the Wiko Highway Pure through gaming and benchmark tests. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now basically in this video, I'm going to be putting the Wiko Highway Pure through gaming benchmarks where I test like really really graphically intensive video games. I'm also going to be doing temperature tests to test if it overheats or not. And then I'm going to be doing like uh, benchmarks like on 22 and Geekbench 3 to see the raw numbers and performance. Let's start. And the first game I'll be playing is Asphalt 8. And as you guys can see there, it's on the medium graphic setting. So let me just jump right back into the game. And the second game I'll be playing is Nova 3. And actually, it is not lagging thus far. For phones that actually lag, at this stage it's already starting to lag. So this is where I can tell if it lags or not. Oh, there you go, it's kind of lagging. Yep, perhaps I spoke a bit too fast. Let me just skip that, let me go here. Yep, welcome to lag face 2016. Yep. Uh, go forward, not backward. Yeah, the the lag the, the lag is there. I, I I hope you guys can see it. So uh, let me just try to get the screen is so slippery. And the third game I'll be playing is Mortal Kombat. And after uh, gaming for about 20 minutes, uh, I'm just gonna be taking a temperature test here. And as you guys can see there, uh, the highest temperature is about 36. Uh, so let me just go up from there, 36 as well. So it doesn't get, uh, it doesn't overheat, I would say. It, it gets warm to the touch, but I wouldn't say uncomfortably warm. So that has been it for the temperature test for the Wiko Highway Pure. And after running uh, Geekbench 3, which is the first benchmarking app I'm going to be running on the Wiko Highway Pure, I got a single core score of 471 and a multi core score of 1393, which is really, really low. But yep, that's the scores I got. And moving on to Antutu, it got a score of 26,305, which you guys, if you actually follow Antutu numbers, is really, really low. So let me look at the ranking. I'm sure it's like the least. Yep, it's like the least down there, as you guys can see. But I mean, I do not believe in benchmarks, hence why I do my five day reviews. But for people who actually believe in benchmarks, damn, this is a low number. So that has been it for the benchmark video of the Wiko High Repair. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, why don't you give it a big fat thumbs up? It helps me out. I like it. Thumbs up if there's anything you do not like in this video and don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss future amazing wonderful videos i can promise you that well, I, I can at least try to promise you that anyways if you are subscribed already well thank you very much and do have an awesome day so i'll catch you guys next time don't forget to remain awesome bye